All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Hakudash Lalom Young. Double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone who teach from one's last days and who are the true leaders in the nation of Israel, whether you can see it or not, who told me it's 100% true. I want to give a strong Shalom to the Akim and the four corners of the earth, puts the word in truth and sincerity, making a call and an election sure, making a bison of a sacrifice, as well as a large multitude to the men, women, and children who the Lord will have mercy on these last days, better known as the righteous one third. And I want to give a humble salutation to the elect of the nation of Israel, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, no matter what your outside appearance may be. All right, this is Brother Michal. I'll come back at you with a quick lesson through the spirit power behind Bashim Al Shai. Representing Cleveland Branch of Great Millstone. I'm going to say the water. Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, forgive me the spirit and having the mercy for allowing me to do this lesson. And um, I just want to talk real quick about, uh, you know, the uh, the Lord's service put, putting, uh, putting you in remembrance. All right. It's something to that effect. All right. So. What it, what is the the ultimate goal, right? Is to is to plant seeds, you know. And uh, you know, let me get that real quick. Um, First Corinthians three. And verse seven. It says, uh, "So neither is is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth." But the most high that give it the increase. All right. So we plant the seeds. All right. And, how, and what is that planting that seed by what? Putting you, putting you in remembrance to, to who you are. Right. That you're not a, a, a byword. OK. That you're a, a nation of, uh, of kings and priests, man. You're 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 uh, rightfully guys on the earth, man. OK. But we're at our lowest state right now. And what do we have to do to get back to that estate? Right, that's what we put in, re in your remembrance. Okay, we we put it in your and uh, we we make you remember uh, the 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 doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, their reputation. Okay, that their actual Hebrew names. Okay, the scriptures talk about that I labor uh, not for myself only, but for all those that seek wisdom. Okay, and and, and the wisdom is the whole role of the other scriptures, man, from Genesis to Revelation. Okay, this is our history book, not just some uh, fantasy fairy tale, you know, with mystical dragons and 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 and, and people walking on water. No, man, these are actually uh, men and, and visions that uh, that that men that were inspired by Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to, uh, to 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 write to us in the last days, man. Okay, the uh, the epistles that Paul wrote to to uh, to the churches, right? You got the uh, you know the church in Italy, Rome. Uh, the Book of Romans. You got the uh, uh, Ephesus, Colossians, uh, Colossus, Salakia, uh, Thessalonica. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just naming some off the top of my head, but uh, all those were written to specific uh, men in, in those churches. But when you apply that to uh, now, we are those pe uh, those men that were in those churches back in the day. And these and in the in the in the uh in the, the the apostles put uh are putting the same remembrance, man. Okay, so this is the same thing what we're doing now. These video epistles that we do are what are planting the seed, okay? And it's up for the it's up for the Lord to give the increase. That's why Yahweh Shah said that uh you know um that uh those that my father have given me uh basically cannot be plucked out of my hand, roughly paraphrasing. All right, so we're here to put your remembrance, man. We're not here for uh, vain glory. We're not be here. We're not here to to be seen, of man. We're here to plant seeds, allow the Lord to give the increase, man. So we get the hell up out of here, man. All right, so we're gonna go to Jude, uh, verse five. It says, I, "I I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this. See, we we all once knew this, man." There is no, there was no. Well, I'm an Egyptian. All right, I'm a Buddhist. Okay, I don't. I'm, I'm an atheist. Okay, all every single last Israelite knew this before, man. This is the only captivity that we that we were under that we completely lost our heritage, man. All right, so we're telling you to repent, right? Meaning to turn back and turn back to what? To the to the to the ways. In obedience of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. 
All right, Jude uh, verse five, it says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord having saved the people out of the land of Egypt afterward destroyed them that believe not. Okay, so that's that's why uh, the Passover is so important because that was the the uh, the biggest uh, miracle that 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 the Lord uh, showed us, man. Okay, splitting the, the Suez Canal and, and and the Israelites walked through the canal on on on, on water, man. I mean, on, it's like you're on land, on dry land. All right, so we got to remember these things. Man. We got to remember the reputation of Yahweh Bashim and what and what and what are the brothers doing? That they're, they're telling you that, man. They're telling you the uh, the destruction of this place. All right, they're telling you how to avoid the second death, the lake of fire. They're telling you how to attain the kingdom of heaven. All right, verse six, it says, and the angels which kept not their first estate. Okay, this is this is us. Okay, we are those angels. All right, because the word angel just means messenger. All right, and we are the mouthpiece of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. We are the servants, the ministers of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. It says, uh, and the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation. What's that habitation? That was under the covering of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. By what? By, by, uh, by uh, keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. Okay, but how do we fall from our first estate? By what? By sinning, man, by going off. By doing our own thing, by trim, by trimming our ways to seek love by other for other from other nations. All right, it says he have reserved in everlasting ch uh, chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Okay, and these are the chains of everlasting darkness, man, because where we're, these bodies, the scripture talk about that uh, that uh, the creature uh, made uh, subject to vanity. Okay. So we are 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 uh, designed. These these this flesh is designed for us to go off, man. This is why we need those those uh, those glorified bodies. This is why we need the new covenant. Okay, but the, but the Lord's elect are going to be trying the best they can to walk uprightly. And this is what we're putting you in remembrance to uh, to strive to do. All right, no one's perfect. No one's 100%. Only one was Yahweh Shai. All right, but we're going to try to get as close as possible. By what? By, by, by trying our best and constantly repenting. Constantly asking forgiveness. And trying harder next time. All right, so it says, um, in those chains, of, uh, chains under, under darkness until the, great, until the judgment of the great day, that's that, uh, that nuke, that, that, the, the judgment of the great whore. <laughs> okay? So when so when when that when that happens, what's what's gonna happen? Brothers is gonna get brothers and sisters gonna get beamed up, all right, and getting that glorified body. Okay, until then we're gonna be under these chains uh, uh, chains of darkness. All right, so we're putting you in remembrance to to be able to uh, combat the wiles of the devil while we're here. Okay, so that way we can get the hell up out of here. So that way you know what you need to be doing, man. Whether, whether you hear or whether you forbear. Because all we're doing is getting the blood off our hands. Uh, let's go to 2 Peter. Uh, chapter 1. In verse 12 it says, Wherefore I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things. To see, and the, and the, and the, and, and, and the Lord's elect are not going to put be negligent to put you in remembrance. This is why the scriptures say, uh, to be instant in season and out of season. All right, the Apostle Peter said to uh, to be ready always to give an answer. Right with meekness and with fear. All right, so this is why this is why brothers study like they do. This is why brothers watch lessons like they do, man. It says. Um, uh, wherefore I will not be negligent To put you always in remembrance of these things Though ye know them And be established in the 
present truth. Okay, though you know these things, you know these things, but the Lord has blinded the minds of, 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 of a certain amount of people, man. Okay, the elect is 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 uh, is is being risen, man. Okay, why? Because they're getting put in remembrance by what? By by being woken up by brothers you see on the highways and hedges. All right, and it's a, it's the Lord that gives that increase, man. You hear the word, right? Isaiah uh, uh, thirty, you know, talks about that. You uh, you know, let me get that real quick. And I'm gonna come back to this, um, Isaiah. Uh, 30 uh, it's, it's Isaiah 30 Let me see Slack him Um Yeah, kind of Isaiah 30 and 21. It says, And nine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. You see? So you're going to hear that word saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Okay? What is that way? Put you, put you in remembrance of, of the former things. All right? So let's go back. Uh, let's see. Uh, go back to First Peter. That's like your Second Peter, and we're gonna go to verse uh, thirteen. It says, "Yea, is I think it meet as long as I am in this tabernacle to stir you, to stir you up by putting you in remembrance." Okay, this what is this tabernacle? Okay, this earthly body. All right, it says verse fourteen. Knowing that shortly I must put off th this my ta my tabernacle, even as our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashayak showed me. Okay, so shortly we're gonna put off what this earthly body, and we're gonna get put on what the uh, the celestial body, even as our Lord Yahweh Shah has showed us, man. Okay, because our, our salvation is nearer than what we believe, man. All right, verse fifteen more. Uh, moreover, I will endeavor that ye may be able to, after my decrease, to have these things always in remembrance. Okay, so we're, we're, we're striving to put you in remembrance, man, because why? When you go to Revelation, uh, the second chapter, in the fourth verse, it says, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works. Or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of the, out of its place, except thou repent, except you turn back. Okay? Except you remember what your first love is, man. Okay? And that first love is what? Serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. No matter if you're a man or a woman. We all have our roles, man. Alright, so we gotta remember where we where, where we fell from, man. That heavenly estate, that angelic estate, and how do we get? And how do we get back there? By what? Obedience to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, because the scriptures say that that uh, that obedience is uh, is better than sacrifice. All right, we're gonna get, get a couple more. Let's go to uh, let's go to Psalms uh, twenty. In verse 7, it says, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of Yahweh our power. All right? We're going to remember the name of Yahweh our power, man. Okay? So not only does that entail uh, the, 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 the Hebrew, how to say the Lord's name in Hebrew, okay? Which is, is not God in, 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 in uh, Jesus, okay? In the ancient Paleo-Hebrew, it's the, the uh, God's name is Yahweh. And, and, and the Messiah, his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, not, so not, not only the names in Paleo-Hebrew, but also 
uh, their reputation, what they entail. All right, so some trust in chariots and some in horses. What is that? Those are uh, those are more so the the uh, you know like basically like um, you could say like a military, I guess uh, 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 something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because the scriptures talk about in Isaiah the thirtieth thirty uh, first chapter, you know about trusting in chariots and horses. Okay, and that's going into the uh, you know um, you know uh, the, the 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 military portion. Okay. But but Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai and, and the host of heaven is our military, man. That's our protection. That's our hope. Alright. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. It says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. So now see, so remembering our creator, which is Yahweh. In the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in our youth, man. All right, so that doesn't mean that you got to remember uh, the Lord's ways when you're five and six years old. No, it's talking about as, as a babe in his truth, man. Okay, having that, having that, uh, having the doctrine. All right, while the evil days come not, okay. So like, yeah, let me see real quick. Yeah, I got to wrap this up because I'm, I'm about to be out of here real quick. But uh, yeah, so we remember the, the Lord in the, in, the, in, the, in the days of our youth, man. All right. Before the destruction hits, because it's a time when, when repentance is going to be closed. All right, we're going to end it off with this. Let's go to uh, 1 Timothy 4. And verse 6, it says, If thou put the the brethren in remembrance of these things thou should be a good minister of Yahweh Shah Hamashayat nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine whereunto thou hast obtained you see so it so when the brothers is out here uh putting putting other brothers in remembrance we're a good minister for, uh, uh, for Yahweh Shai man okay because what, what do Yahweh Shai command us to do to go out to the highways and hedges and, and bid my sheep to the marriage man that's what we're doing. Okay? Why? Because we want to be a, a good minister for Yahweh Shai. We want to we want to uh have Yahweh Shai tell us, uh, well done, good and faithful servant. All right, so uh Lord witness us was edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite worship to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Hakwadash Lam Yom, double honors to the apostle and others of Great Millstone. I want to say Kwame Sharala, Ababa Ball, Shalom.